Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem, we're gonna find the Maclaurin series for this function. So a really simple example of finding the Maclaurin series. So to find the Maclaurin series for each of the three X, you start by writing down the Maclaurin series for each of the X. So each of the X is equal to the infinite sum as N runs from zero to infinity of X to the N over N factorial. So that's the first step. You start by writing uh, down the Maclaurin series for e to the x. The next thing you do is you just replace all of your x's with 3x. Right? So we have e to the 3x, and that's equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And then instead of x to the n, you have um, 3x to the n, and then on the bottom you have the n factorial. So really, really simple. And the last thing I guess you could do um, is you could simplify this, right? This is the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And then 3x to the n, you can write that as 3 to the n times x to the n. And then on the bottom you just have uh, the n factorial. So really, really, really simple. Again, to find the Maclaurin series for each of the 3x, you start by writing down the Maclaurin series for e to the x, and then just replace x with 3x. I hope that made uh, some sense. That's it.